Good morning, Bucknutters, and welcome into the Bucknuts Morning 5 on Wednesday, March 4th, 2015. I am Dave Biddle. We'll get to Bill Curlick later in the show to discuss the latest on the recruiting front, but I want to start off talking about what I think is the most interesting position battle of Ohio State spring ball, which will kick off in exactly six days, March 10th. There aren't many starting spots open for the Buckeyes this spring, but a few position battles that will be interesting to follow are at wide receiver, right tackle, and corner. But for me, the most intriguing battle of spring will be at defensive tackle, where Ohio State is looking to replace Michael Bennett. Donovan Munger, who will be a third-year sophomore this fall, is the odds-on favorite, in my opinion, to start next to Adolphus Washington up front. But Munger will be pushed by seniors Tommy Shutt and Joel Hale, as well as classmate Michael Hill this spring. Munger was the only backup defensive tackle that played against Alabama, which spoke volumes to me. But he still has a ways to go to earn the starting job, and it'll be interesting to see how he looks this spring. At right tackle, it will be a good competition between Chase Ferris and Jamarco Jones, but from talking to Ed Warner back in January, I think Chase Ferris has the edge in that battle. Evan Lyle will also be in the mix this fall, but his status for spring is unclear. He missed last season due to a knee injury. But Lyle was a very highly rated member of Ohio State's 2013 recruiting class, and it will be good for depth purposes to get him back. Corner is my runner-up to defensive tackle when it comes to the most interesting battle of spring. Eli Apple, of course, has one starting spot locked down, but who will start opposite him? Will it be Gary on Conley or Damon Webb? That will be a very tight competition to follow. I give Conley a very slight edge, but it will be close. And both Conley and Webb will play a lot either way this fall. One of them could end up as the number one nickelback, although I think safety Eric Smith is best suited for the nickelback role. At wide receiver, I think the starting spots are pretty much set with Michael Thomas, Corey Smith, and then Jalen Marshall at the hybrid. But look out for Terry McLaurin, who will be a redshirt freshman this fall. He was impressive on the scout team last year, and the coaches expect him to see a good amount of playing time in 2015. McLaurin was Indiana's Mr. Football as a senior in 2013. Not many Mr. Football award winners redshirt unless they get injured. Welcome to Ohio State. But McLaurin will get his chance this spring to show what he can do and prove that he needs to be on the field for the Buckeyes a lot this fall. Now for the latest on recruiting, let's go out to the dean of Ohio State football recruiting, Bill Curlick. When Stan Drayton took a job with the NFL Chicago Bears as their running backs coach, there was certainly some consternation on the front row message board. But then Urban Meyer followed by hitting a home run with the hiring of Tony Alford away from Notre Dame. Alford came to Ohio State with the reputation as not only a very good coach, but a great recruiter, and he hit the ground running for the Buckeyes on the recruiting trail and hasn't let up one bit. Examples being recently the Buckeyes offered wide receiver Eli Stowe from Niceville, Florida a scholarship. Stowe was one of the country's premier wide receiver prospects. He was being recruited by Alfred for Notre Dame and the two had a very good relationship and Eli Stowe certainly is happy that Alfred is at Ohio State now, and Stove tells me that he will definitely visit Ohio State. Also, Alfred has been in contact recently with Carlos Becker, an outstanding athlete from Kissimmee Osceola High School in Florida. Becker, a six foot three, one 180 pounder, also was recently offered a scholarship by Ohio State a little over a week ago. He says that he has a good relationship with Alfred as well, and Carlos Becker also would like to make a visit to Ohio State. Woody Barrett is a talented quarterback from West Orange Winter Garden, Florida, who Alfred had been recruiting and is now recruiting for Ohio State. He and Tim Beck are recruiting Woody Bennett for the Buckeyes, and Woody Bennett certainly is very interested in Ohio State as well. And then there's the case of Savion Smith, the five-star defensive back from Bradenton IMG in Florida. Smith has committed to LSU, but he is planning to visit Ohio State still. And Smith and Smith's father rave about Tony Alford and says that 
Savion has a very good relationship with Alfred, and certainly if somehow the Buckeyes do end up getting him on campus, perhaps they would have a shot at flipping him from LSU. But in any event, there is no question that Alfred is making a very immediate and outstanding impact on Buckeye recruiting, and it should only get better as things go on. Thank you, Bill. The Buckeyes absolutely hit a home run with a Tony Alford hiring, like you said. And I'm looking forward to interviewing Coach Alford next week when spring ball kicks off. For more on Ohio State recruiting, Bill has his In the Dean's Office feature today on the Front Row Message Board, where Bucknut subscribers can ask him any question about Ohio State recruiting. If you're not a subscriber, try our buy one month, get two months free deal while it still lasts. Thanks again to Bill Curlick, and thanks to you for tuning into the show. I appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day. Take it away, best damn band in the land. (laughs) 